Ancient Miles, The Journey to Success by Coach John Wooden with Steve Jameson and Peanut Louie Harper, illustrated by the amazingly talented Susan F. Nelson. It is the last day before summer vacation and Inch and Miles have one final assignment. Their teacher, Mr. Wooden, has just written this question on the board. What is success? Miles tries first. That's easy. Success is winning a shiny gold medal or a trophy for first place. Inch adds, Success is being the most popular kid at school and having the best toys. Inch and Miles, their teacher, Mr. Wooden, finally replies. And this is actually Coach John Wooden reading to you. Success isn't having trophies and toys. It isn't a medal or friends of your choice. What is success? It's easy to see. It's trying to be the best you can be. Don't worry what others may have or might say. When trying your best, success comes your way. Mr. Wooden continues. Success is happiness in your heart because you try 100% to be your personal best. And no one can do that better than you. But Mr. Wooden, how do we try 100% to do our best? Mr. Wooden continues. You'll meet special friends who are good teachers, too. Each one has a message, especially for you. To learn how to try 100%, just ask them for clues. You'll be glad that you win. Then you'll find my pyramid of success. Each of its blocks helps bring out your best. Listen and learn and do as they tell. You will then see success as clear as a bell. Inch and miles can't wait to find the pyramid of success and to learn how to try 100% to be their personal best. They walk to the edge of the schoolyard and Inch gives the whistle a... Hootie toot toot. Hootie toot toot. The first friend Inch and Miles meet is Axelrod the Ant who gives them the first clue to the pyramid of success. I may be small, that's very true, but I succeed and so can you. I move a mountain bit by bit, it takes hard work, I never sit. I work and work throughout the day, my work comes first before I play. Success is yours, please understand, when you and work go hand in hand. Hard work, everybody. Hootie toot toot. And the next friend Inch and Miles meet, Rhonda the Robin. She gives them the next clue to the pyramid of success. I sing my song with a joyful heart. In your success, joy plays a part. Enthusiasm in your smile, combined with work, you'll find worthwhile. The energy and pep you show will rub off on those you know. Don't make excuses, complain, or whine. Enjoy your work and success you'll find. Enthusiasm! Hootie toot toot! <laughs> And the next friend, Inch and Miles meet Silly Charlie the Chimp, and he gives them the next clue to the pyramid of success. My friends are like a family. I share with them, they share with me. Respect your friends in all you do, and they'll give back respect to you. You'll find success if this you learn. The gift of friendship must be earned. To make a friend, I do believe that you yourself, a friend must be. Friendship! And that brings Inchin Miles to their next friend, they meet Jeff the Sheepdog. He gives them the next clue 
to the pyramid of success. I'll wag my tail when you're feeling bad. I'll cheer you up if you're kind of sad. I'm honest and fair and my word is true. When others run out, I'll be there for you. Loyalty is a trait built upon trust. Others must see you as truthful and just. I'm letting you know now when the going gets tough, loyalty is important. No amount is too much. Loyalty! 32 toot! Oh, the next friend they meet is Betty the Bee and she's awfully busy. She gives them the next clue to the pyramid of success. I'm one of billions in our hive. It looks confused as we all strive. We buzz around throughout the day. Cooperation's our sweet way. Work is one in all you do. When you help others, they'll help you. Seek to know what someone needs, then pitch right in and you'll succeed. Cooperation! If success is your great goal, you must practice self-control. Use common sense in all you do. Controlling emotions is helpful too. I knew a fish who took the bait. Good judgment gone, the hook he ate. My friend was fried upon the grill. With self-control, he'd be here still. Self-control. Hooty toot toot. Now there's a hoppin' rabbit, Rascal the Rabbit. He gives them the next clue to the pyramid of success. My ears are as tall as telephone poles. My nose is like a button with holes. I listen and look, I sniff around. I stay alert to sights and sounds. And one more thing that I should mention, alertness means you pay attention to all the things that others share, you'll learn so much if you're aware. Weaver, it's alertness. Hooty toot toot. <laughs> the next friend Inch and Miles meet is Skittles the Squirrel. He gives them the next clue to the pyramid of success. I scurry round and round each day. Taking action is my way. I get up and go and give it my all. When action's needed, I never stall. And when I look for lunch to eat, I'm not afraid to risk defeat. Don't feel failure, try your best. Take some action for success. Action! Hooty toot toot! Next, Inch and Miles meet Fred the Frog. He gives them the next clue to the pyramid of success. Patiently, I wait and wait, knowing that a bug tastes great. Wait, I will, till a bug is mine, because success, of course, takes time. This determination I must show to get the bugs I need to grow. So when a bug comes whizzing by, I snap my tongue and goodbye fly. <laughs> Determination! Hootie toot toot! Oh, we are climbing the pyramid. The next friend they meet is Hugh the horse. He gives Inch and Miles the next clue to the pyramid of success. To run a race and do my best, I exercise to pass the test. I get my sleep and eat good food. Healthy thoughts improve my mood. When I am fit to run the race, the other horses I can outpace. Your fitness level must be great. Success requires a healthy state. Fitness. Hooty toot toot. Oh, this is an important clue from Silky the Spider. She gives them the next clue to the pyramid of success. 
to weave a web demands great skill. And snaring lunch is quite a thrill. Practice makes my webs grow finer. I'm a top-notch web designer. I pay attention to each detail. I do it right so I won't fail. I learn my skill through hours of drill. To find success, you must have skill. Skill! better listen to his clue to the pyramid of success. The team come first, I must confide. I'm always eager to help the pride. I'll sacrifice my own desires and do for them what is required. Your team is part of who you are. And don't forget, the team's the star. You help support and then you cheer it. To find success, show strong team spirit. Team spirit. Hootie Toot Toot. That itch and miles me. Everett the eagle who's soaring over these fields. He gives them the next clue to the pyramid of success. I'm Everett the eagle flying free. There's no one else who's quite like me. And there's no one else who's quite like you. So be yourself. Because you are cool. With poise, you like the one you are. It gives you pride. It takes you far. Poise is needed for success. Just be yourself, Weaver. Yourself is best. Poise. Tooty toot toot. And lastly, in two miles meets Albert the Alligator and he gives them the final clue to the pyramid of success. Many are taller, others run faster. To race with most would be a disaster, but I don't care if they seem greater, I trust in me, the alligator. My confidence is plain to see. I have learned to trust in me. The pyramid will teach you to be confident in all, believe in you. And it is confidence. Hootie toot toot. Then for what seems like a long time, Inch and Miles sail through creamy cotton clouds. Cathud, Inch and Miles land with a thump and a bump. Ah, oh, it's our classroom and they shout with glee. What they see makes them even happier. It's his it's Coach Wooden's pyramid of success. And as he defines success, students really pay attention. Success is happiness in your heart because you made the effort 100% to do your best. The end. Yay!